So just give you some bits about immigration in the United States, some factoids. Um, you know, in the United States, you have between 11 to 12 million, and this is just an estimate, obviously, because nobody really, really knows, you know, um, you have, uh, I call them not illegal, I call them unauthorized uh, immigrants in the United States. There's about 12 million unauthorized, and many, many of them about half, 50% um, from Mexico. So I think, you know, um, you know, and who knows actually what that number is. It could be way less. It could be way more. And those numbers, you know, when they're created, they're created to serve an agenda. Um, there's, more, there's more immigrants in America, you know, uh, let's pad those numbers and, oh, they're, they're taking our dubs, you know, like um, that's like one way that you, you build numbers to, you know, or, or adjust numbers um, for, to support a particular ideology or a cause, okay? Um, but, you know, that just gives you a sense, you know, and it, it, who knows, who really knows, okay? Um, but uh, each year, uh, you have about one million people becoming Americans, so they immigrate, uh, immigrate to America, and they, um, they become uh, legal U.S. citizens, about one million per year, and it's pretty arduous, um, arduous steps, you know, most of us natural born citizens couldn't do half of the shit that you have to do on the test, like, could you do the fucking Pledge of Allegiance right now if I put you on the spot? I couldn't do that shit, you know, I probably, probably would fail, <laughs> okay, um, you know, but if you look at like policies and perspectives in, in the United States, specifically under our current um, regime, you know, you're looking at, you know, um, policies that are anti-immigration, that are nativist, that are protecting borders, protecting, protecting, quote unquote, um, America, American, American interests, etc. And it's framed in that, you know, sort of way, uh, MAGA, you know, let's make America great again. Um, or whatever, okay, um, and obviously, you know, you heard the term xenophobia, and this is a fear, a general fear of, or hatred towards um, another group of people um, that come from outside of that quote-unquote national identity, however it's con concocted, you know, however you've concocted this identity, okay, and usually what this is, it's like, this fear is, is often targeted towards people who are um, present in society, so they exist, you know, they're, you know they're here, but they're not truly accepted or considered a part. So, you know, if you have um, a pocket of Syrian, you know, immigrants, you know, you know they're part of, um, they're here, or they're in your country, right? and they're present, but they're not a part of that society. They're not allowed to be a part of that society, okay? The other element of xenophobia is always going to stem back then to cultural. So when we watch like Goobax, you can see both of these things exemplified um, with the, you know, the time people, um, you know, they have their own cultural thing, their own languages, their own um, music, uh, you know, they bump, uh, you know, low rider hovercraft and, and stuff like that. So, um, but when you develop xenoph xenophobic views, right, um, you often fear that culture um, or look down upon that, that culture because it's alien to the uh, social norms that have been constructed within, within your nation. And you can look at, you know, I asked you to look at the pros and cons of immigration, and this is from um, an Irish website. So it's just, you know, the general pros and cons. And, you know, if you kind of look at it, like, obviously, there's a lot, there's a lot of pros in terms of, like, economic growth, uh, filling certain types of jobs, um, you know, um, filling positions of, like, people who age out of certain jobs, um, you know, people come in who have energy and enthusiasm to do, do work that um, maybe 
people don't want to do. Um, you know, uh, you enrich the cultural diversity within the nation. You know, you diversify a nation. Um, and oftentimes, like school districts, can get filled with people, cash, you know, etc. And then the, the negative could be, you know, depression of wages or jobs get filled. Um, you know, um, you know, because people are willing to work for maybe less. You know, just like we have we have in the episode, um, goo bags. You also may have these uh, immigrants being exploited by the capitalists. Oh wow, you know, look, I mean, look what's going on right now. You know, where you have people who work on farms who are largely immigrants, or you have people working in meat packing plants who are also largely immigrants, you know, not only being exploited, be, being subjected to possible infection, okay? Um, it's often thought, you know, a negative is that there can be attacks on social and public services. So you can read through that and kind of see, you know, um, some, of, some of these general things that you, you know, are arguments for and against immigrants, which we actually have in the episode Goo Backs with um, whatever, the, the ra raging, angry, uh, redneck, uh, conservative versus the aging, liberal, hippie douche, um, which kind of is the sort of extreme views on, on these, on these, on these uh, arguments for, for and against um, making immigration easier or, or, or more, uh, more accessible um, borders, you know, etc.